What's up everyone? Welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and today I'm going to be showing you a very highly requested video. It's something that I've been wanting to update for quite some time and that is showing you my entire vinyl collection. That of course includes the full length records, also some of the 7 inch singles, the 10 inch records that I have. I think at this point I have well over 250 individual albums, so we're going to have to fly through this. This is not going to be me examining each and every record and saying that I love the album or this is what I feel about it, but my rule of thumb when it comes to purchasing records is that I generally only buy albums that I either really, really like or else love. If there's a unique backstory when it comes to how I got my hands on an album or possibly a colored pressing or something like that, I'll make sure to show you guys there will be some overlaid footage so that you can get a closer look at the record. I do hope that you enjoy the video today. Please leave a like on it and share it out with somebody else that you know enjoys Final. Keep in mind, my collection is not complete by any means. Final is expensive and there's plenty of records out there that I simply haven't gotten around to yet. AFI All Hallows EP from 1999 on an orange colored pressing. Also from AFI, I have a very limited copy of December Underground. AFI are notorious about not really repressing their albums, and that's also why I don't have a copy of Sing the Sorrow yet. The French band Air and their album Moon Safari. The All American Rejects Move Along on limited edition smoke colored vinyl. This was for Record Store Day a few years back. Here are the three all time low records that I own. Nothing Personal on a splattered vinyl, Don't Panic It's Longer Now on a beautiful two-disc multicolored selection, and also Future Hearts on baby blue vinyl. Alt-J, This Is All Yours on a two-disc colored edition that was chosen at random by the label. American Football LP3 on baby blue vinyl. A cloudy dark blue pressing of the Architects album Holy Hell from 2018. I have a selection of four different Arctic Monkeys albums starting with their debut, Whatever People Say I Am. We also have Favorite Worst Nightmare, and then I've got a copy of Humbug, and also AM. Very proud of this one. This is a red copy of Avenged Sevenfold's album City of Evil. This is a super high quality white pressing, 180 grams of Avril Lavigne's debut album, Let Go. Bad Flowers debut album, OK, I'm Sick on white vinyl. This was either gonna be red or white, and I was sent the white copy. These are two albums by the UK band Basement on green vinyl for Promise Everything, and then an orangish vinyl for their newest album, Beside myself. One of the oldest records that I have in my collection, we of course have the Christmas record by the Beach Boys. This is a spread of three different Beach House albums, the Dream Pop Duo dating back to Teen Dream, one of their first records, then 2012's Bloom, and then I have a yellow copy that was a limited edition for their most recent album at the time of recording this video, Seven. I have plans to add more albums by the Beatles in the future, although my girlfriend already has plenty of them, but in my personal collection I have Revolve over and the White Album. Somehow I only own the two most chill records that Peck has ever released, Sea Change and Morning Phase. This is the mini LP Fade Away by Best Coast. I've got a copy of Beyonce's Lemonade on yellow vinyl, obviously very appropriate for that album. Billie Eilish, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? This is a glow-in-the-dark vinyl. Can't say it's the most high quality, but it does look pretty cool. I've got several albums from Blink-182 dating back to Cheshire Cat. This was a Hot Topic Splatter repressing. I also have their seminal album, many would argue at least, from Blink-182 Enema of the State. I believe this is on blue vinyl. We also have Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, another beautiful pressing here that I really do love playing. We've also got the Untitled album. This is a beautiful splatter. This was a Hot Topic repressing that I did have to pay a little bit extra for. And I also have a very limited edition pink copy of Neighborhoods, which at this point is one of my favorite Blink records. I do have California as well. This was a pre-order. This is purple vinyl, 
and honestly, it's one of the prettiest albums. I just love the shade of purple. Born's Dopamine. Boston's classic self-titled record. This is a very old copy here. Boston Manor, Welcome to the Neighborhood on black, white, and red splatter. Both sides of this are pretty spectacular. I have the entire brand new studio album discography dating back to 2001's Your Favorite Weapon. We have Deja and Tendu as well. Obviously a classic right here. My personal favorite from them, a God tier album, The Devil and God Are Raging inside me. We have Daisy as well, and then a very limited edition, I'm not exactly sure how limited it was, a red and blue pressing of their final studio album, Science Fiction. Brandon Flowers, The Desired Effect. In my collection, I have two Bring Me the Horizon albums. I have a gold copy of Simp Eternal, and then a very, very orange, kind of clouded pressing of That's the Spirit. Broken Bells, Holding On to Life, 10-inch single. This was for Record Store Day in 2014. Going with the theme of the album, I have a beautiful limited orange copy from Urban Outfitters of Brood's album Don't Feed the Pop Monster. Bush, 16 Stone on two-disc clear vinyl. Cage the Elephant, Melophobia and Social Cues. Car Seat Headrest, Teens of Denial. Catfish and the Bottlemen with their debut album The Balcony. Chain Gang of 1974, Felt. This is my favorite Charlie XCX album, Sucker. I own the first two Churches albums, the synth pop trio, this is The Bones of What You Believe, and Every Open Eye, the latter of those being on clear vinyl. Citizen, As You Please, on splattered vinyl. At this point, I now own three Coldplay records on vinyl. We have a white copy, a Barnes & Noble's limited edition of A Rush of Blood to the Head. I also own my personal favorite, Viva La Vida or Death in All His Friends, and also Ghost Stories. Sometimes I sit and think, and sometimes I just sit by the Australian singer-songwriter Courtney Barnett on yellow vinyl. I believe this is pretty limited, but this is a white copy of the Stranger EP by the punk band Creeper. Really value having their album Eternity in Your Arms. This is a signed copy on purple marbled vinyl, just beautiful. Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. The Dead Weather, Dodge and Burn. Death Cab for Cutie, Transatlanticism. I continuously come back to this record. This is Death from Above 1979, The Physical World. This is a muddied, kind of bloody red edition of Denzel Curry's album, Taboo. My favorite Ellie Goulding album, Halcyon. I have two Eminem albums in my collection, the Marshall Mathers LP, the original one, of course, and then Kamikaze on an olive green pressing. This is a beautiful gold and maroon pressing of From Under the Cork Tree by Fall Out Boy. I also have a splattered blue and clear copy of Infinity on High, and then a multicolored two-disc copy that I absolutely love of my favorite Fall Out Boy album, Fully Ado. And then I have the red 10-inch version. I'm not sure why they did it on 10-inch vinyl, but this is Save Rock and Roll. Picked up two of Father John Misty's albums. Here we have I Love You, Honey Bear. And then I also kind of have a dark neon orange copy of God's Favorite Customer. Going with this album's theme, we have a bubblegum pink copy of the Fickle Friends album, You or Someone Else. Wouldn't be a vinyl collection without some Fleetwood Mac, so we've got this self-titled album and, of course, Rumors. A lot of you probably know that I'm a big Florence and the Machine fan. The only studio album that I don't have yet is Lungs, but I do have Ceremonials. And of course, we have How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful, and the most recent album at the time of this video, High as Hope. The greatest Foo Fighters album, Wasting Light, that's my opinion. I also have the Saint Cecilia EP by them. Foster the People, Torches, Always Ascending on a kind of a baby blue cloudy vinyl by Franz Ferdinand. A lovely album, Some Nights by Fun. I definitely still miss them. Gerard Way's Hesitant Alien featuring the alternate cover art. This one was a present from my girlfriend Infinity on Hannah. This is Gorilla's Humans on a picture disc. I believe I've got noodles here on the cover. So you guys know that I love Green Day, so how are we gonna do this? I mean, I've got this giant stack of Green Day vinyl right here, so I guess I'll give you the rundown, starting all the way back with Kerplunk. We've got that one right there. We also have this beautiful album here, Dookie. This came out in 1994 along with Woodstock 94, which was a recent record store day purchase. We have Insomniac here, released in 1996. We have Nimrod. This is on beautiful yellow vinyl. I got so lucky. Hot Topic had a random pressing laying around in the back of their store. We also have the album Warning that came out in the year 2000. 
And then we have Tune In Tokyo. This was another Record Store Day release. This is on blue vinyl. I do have two copies of American Idiot. I mean, it's one of my favorite albums of all time, so of course I do. My mom bought me this. This was the second vinyl album that I ever owned. And then I have an unopened copy that I've been too scared to open. I don't know why. I just have been hesitating, but it's on red and white vinyl. Here is 21st Century Breakdown, and I now have completed the trilogy of albums. We have Uno. We also have Dose on colored vinyl, got that for Christmas 2018, and of course we have Trey to complete the trilogy. I also from Green Day have Demolicious, which I picked up on another record store day, they're very involved there, and then their most recent studio album, Revolution Radio on red vinyl. Sister Act Haim and their debut album, Days Are Gone. Another debut album, Harry Styles, formerly of One Direction, this is self-titled. Highly Suspect, The Boy Who Died Wolf on a very strong blue vinyl. Iggy Pop, Post Pop Depression, I really love that Josh Homme worked on this one. These are the three Interpol records that I have in my collection, starting with their debut, Turn On The Bright Lights. I also have a white copy that I found in the used bin randomly at my local record store. This is El Pintor. And then I have their most recent album, Morador. Jack White always goes above and beyond for his vinyl. And I have Blunderbuss, the debut album, in addition to the follow-up, Lazaretto. This album cover feels absolutely amazing. And there's also some really crazy etching. And this record plays in a variety of different speeds and it changes direction. It's crazy. Here's a really interesting milky mix mixed with blue pressing of the Jetty Bones hyphen EP, Jimmy Eat World Futures. This is John Mayer's Continuum, although you probably can't tell unless I showed you the back copy here. The Joy Formidable, Wolf's Law. You already know that I'm stacked up on my girl Casey Musgraves and these three most recent albums that she's put out. This includes Same Trailer, Different Park. We also have on pink vinyl, this one's actually really pretty, pageant material, and then a clear copy of her Grammy award-winning album, the album of the year, Golden Hour. I have Good Kid, Mad City, the Deluxe Edition, and To Pimp a Butterfly by rapper Kendrick Lamar. The Killers, Hot Fuss, and the Picture Disc Edition of the follow-up album, Sam's Town. I have three different albums by the emotional post-hardcore and spoken word band La Dispute, starting with their debut album, Somewhere at the Bottom of the River. I also have Rooms of the House, and then a clear copy of Panorama. Lady Gaga, The Fame, and also Joanne. I traded for this one with a viewer. I traded a Relax. K album, and I now have a translucent pink copy. Here's a very old copy of Led Zeppelin 4. I picked this up while I was living in Wilmington, North Carolina. I have four different Linkin Park albums dating back to their debut album, Hybrid Theory. I also have a copy of Meteora, although this is just on black. I'm hoping to pick up a limited edition copy in the future. I have my eye out on Discogs. I have Living Things by the band on white vinyl, and I also have a copy of The Hunting Party. Of course, I have both of Lord albums to date, Pure Heroin and Melodrama. This is the deluxe edition on blue vinyl. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is really, really pretty, especially when you hold it up to a certain light. Madonna's debut self-titled album. The greatest albums, in my opinion, from the main are right here, American Candy on Bubblegum Pink, and then Lovely Little Lonely on a nice deep purple pressing. Manchester Orchestra, Cope. Metrics, The Art of Doubt on white vinyl. A 180 gram pressing of MGMT's excellent album, Little Dark Age. Microwaves, Stovall, and Much Love. This is a very, very underrated band, and I cannot rave enough about how beautiful this pressing of Stovall is. I also really enjoy my splattered copy of Much Love. Mike Shinoda's solo album, Post Dramatic. Modern Baseball, You're Gonna Miss It All on a yellow copy. Surprisingly enough, I only own three full-length albums by the British band Muse at this point, but I do plan to add maybe one or two more. I have, for now, Origin of Symmetry from 2001. I, of course, also have Absolution, and then Black Holes, and revelations. Mute Math, Play Dead. You already know that I'm stunting on you with that entire My Chemical Romance discography. In addition to also having The Black Parade is Dead, I of course have their debut album, Bullets, 
And then we have the three cheers for Sweet Revenge pressing here. I've also got a very nice bone splatter edition of the Black Parade with the alternate cover artwork. And then I also have the Black Parade is Dead, which is a nice companion piece. I got this for Record Store Day 2019. And then to complete the collection there, we have a nice colored pressing of Danger Days. The Naked and Famous, Passive Me, Aggressive You. Neck Deep, Life's Not Out to Get You on a nice deep blue pressing. Neutral Milk Hotel in the Aeroplane Over the Sea. Nirvana, Nevermind, of course I have this gem and classic in my collection. Another timeless one right here. This is a orange translucent copy of Tragic Kingdom by No Doubt. Love, love, love this British rock band right here. Nothing But Thieves, their first two records, the self-titled on a white pressing and then a very nice pressing of their second album broken machine on a split white and black copy now now's album threads this originally came out in 2012 but they just repressed this in 2018 this is a clear copy of montreal hissing fauna are you the destroyer on a nice blue copy this one also features a very interesting concept when it comes to actually opening it all the way up there's so much going on here fye sent me a copy of the fan favorite super successful album Smash by punk band The Offspring. Remember how I said I would stop and tell a story if I had one? Well, my first ever vinyl album that I purchased myself before I even got a record player because I knew I was going to be getting one was a gold copy of A Fever You Can't Sweat Out by Panic at the Disco. Now, you're probably thinking he's holding it up right now. Well, one of my friends dropped it on the pavement and cracked it and now I'm stuck with this black copy. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I used to have a gold one that now goes for $200 on Discogs. It's all made up for though because I have this absolutely stellar pressing, absolutely one of the most tasteful albums, the beautiful records in my collection. I have Pretty Odd on kind of a purple Easter mixed together with white. It just looks like springtime. I also have Vices and Virtues and then a kind of candy colored splatter edition of Too Weird to Live. Paramore's Brand New Eyes, a repressed edition from Newberry Comics. This is kind of a marbled green. I also, of course, have several of their other records, but first, let me show you this broken record, Ain't It Fun. This was from Record Store Day a few years back, and to complement that, I have the full-length album, the self-titled. This is on a blue pressing. I also have After Laughter on a teal pressing, and it sounds absolutely fantastic on the turntable. Next, I have two albums from Pierce the Veil. I have a Coke bottle splattered edition of Collide with the Sky, and then a solid red copy of Adventures. Oh, I could rub this one on my face all day long. That won't be misinterpreted at all, but I have The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd, and also in my other hand, I have this really old stained copy. I know it looks bad of The Wall. These are two of the most successful albums of all time. This one right here, The Wall, was given to me by my girlfriend's mom, and it dates back all the way to 1979. Portugal the Man, Evil Friends, and then The Postal Service, and their only album to date, Give Up. I own two albums by the Canadian punk rock band Pup. They're massively underrated, I feel. This is The Dream Is Over on a solid red pressing, and then I also have the Oxblood pressing that looks even better in person than I ever would have expected. This is morbid stuff, and I love the album art for this as well. Another Canadian group is featured next. I have Another Eternity, and shrines. Here's four records by Queens of the Stone Age, rated R. And then we have Lullabies to Paralyze, one of the best records of the 2010s decade so far, in my opinion. This is, again, Queens with, like, clockwork. And then finally, Villains. As I've fallen more and more in love with Radiohead, I've started picking up some of their records on vinyl, the ones that really, really speak to me. This first is OK Not OK, a repressing of OK Computer. This is on three discs of blue vinyl, so, so pretty. I also have their album In Rainbows here, in addition to the album that really got me into Radiohead, a moon-shaped pool, and this is on a super high quality white pressing. Red Hot Chili Peppers, by the way, and then of course we've got this nice little two-disc thing that is so well packed. I love this. Stadium Arcadium by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Reliant K, mm-hmm, and Let It Snow Baby, Let It Reindeer. These are both on colored pressings of their own. This is a solid bubblegum pink copy of 
of Greatest Hits, the debut album by Remo Drive, of which I am actually thanked in the credits section of this, which is very, very cool. The self-titled album by the hard-rocking band Royal Blood from the UK, Run the Jewels 2 and 3. This is a rap duo consisting of LP and Killer Mike. Run the Jewels 2 is on a teal pressing, and then I have the gold pressing of RTJ3. Slater Kenny's Dig Me Out and No Cities to Love. Sleigh Bells, Bitter Rivals. The debut album from Snail Mail, Lush. Two records from Soccer Mommy, a.k.a. Sophie Allison. This is Four Young Hearts, her debut little mini LP here on a dark green pressing. We also have a very, very pretty copy on purple vinyl of her album Clean. St. Vincent with her self-titled album and Mass Seduction. The Strokes Is This It, which fun fact, I actually picked this up while I was on vacation in Cancun, Mexico. Sublime self-titled record featuring some of their biggest hits and one of my favorite songs by them, Garden Grove. You can kind of see that this is a holographic kind of illuminated cover here. Yep, that's right, I just dropped the remix. Fun story behind this next pressing here, I went to one of my local record shops not expecting this to be a colored vinyl, but it is. It's all killer, no filler by Sum 41 on kind of a marbled purple. And a nice contrast between each other, we have blue and red pressings from Switchfoot. We have the beautiful letdown on blue, and then nothing is sound on red. Swimmers Drive North, this is actually the original pressing before they signed to Fueled by Ramen. It came out on Burger Records. And then I have a yellowed copy of their newest album, Berkeley's on Fire. Thank the good lord, or I suppose the devil, depending on who you ask about their music, that System of a Down repressed their albums Finally, because I actually bought a couple of bootleg pressings that actually sucked ass, so finally I have the real stuff on vinyl. We have Toxicity here. We also, of course, have Mesmerize and Hypnotize, two of my favorites from the band. I might even pick up more vinyl from them in the future. Taking Back Sunday, Tell All Your Friends, a very expensive copy. That's why I've still even got this one in the sleeve even for filming this video. Louder Now came out in 06. They didn't repress this for the longest time and a month after I bought this on eBay for a large amount of money, they repressed the motherfucker. I also have the self-titled album by Taking Back Sunday. Trippy stuff right here, Tame and Paula's Currents. I plan on getting Lonerism at some point too, but this is a two disc, both discs are different colored vinyl edition. One is purple and one is kind of a translucent orange. Taylor Swift, 1989. Teenage Wrist, Chrome Neon Jesus on yellow vinyl. Temple's Volcano on orange vinyl, which definitely goes with the volcano theme. I actually had to order this one from Europe. Kicking it back a bit to my childhood, we have Three Days Grace, their flawless album, My Eyes 1X. This is on white vinyl, a very nice pressing there. And of course, I had to get Life Starts Now as well, just because I do really like the album, but also it's the first album that ever started me out on my channel. It's the first review I uploaded. The Swedish artist Tuvlo and her Truth Serum EP on bubblegum pink vinyl. Turnovers, Good Nature on red. 21 Pilots are next in my collection. We have a clear copy of Vessel, then I have just the standard black of Blurry Face, and then I've also got a yellow translucent copy of Trench. I can't say that I'm totally in love with Erase Me, the most recent album by Under Oath, but FYE was kind enough to send me a copy of this album. It is on kind of caution tape yellow, and it looks absolutely sensational. The Void's Virtue on Opaque Yellow. I got this while I was in Boston at Newberry Comics in person. Walk the Moon, Talking is Hard, and also What If Nothing, the latter of those again, a present from FYE. It's on a combination two disc purple and white vinyl. Only 100 copies of this particular pressing of Double Dare by Waterparks exist in the entire world, and myself and my girlfriend each own one of those copies, so that's pretty cool. So much Weezer in this Wheezy right now. Starting off with their debut album, the Blue Album. These are all on standard black except for the white album. We have Pinkerton as well, of course. Naturally, I picked up a copy of their album that came out in 2002, Maladroit. I, of course, have everything will be all right in the end. And as I mentioned, I do have the white pressing of the white album, which perfectly goes with the theme. Duh. Love me some white stripes. I've got this super high quality pressing of Elephant because, of course, Jack White being all about vinyl, you know that he's going to get the best pressings out there. I love, again, the holographic cover, as you can see right now, on Get Behind Me Satan. This was released for Record Store Day in 2015. I picked this up while I was in Niagara Falls. This is a red and white copy. 
I also have from the White Stripes, Icky Thump, their 2007 release, which happened to be their final album. This right here is one of my most prized possessions in my entire collection. Shout out to Hannah and also Sean from Rewind Reviews for actually making this happen. It sold out in the United States. This is My Love is Cool, the box set edition that came with so many extras by Wolf Alice. This rocks out so hard. I love it. It was only available in the UK. Sean ordered it, we paid him back, and then he shipped it to me in the United States. Also from Wolf Alice, I have their excellent sophomore album on white vinyl, Visions of a Life. This came with a signed little lithograph from the band. The Wonder Years, No Closer to Heaven. This is such a nice tri-colored pressing, and in the back of the final disc, you can see that a little cardinal in part of the album artwork is worked into it. From the XX, I have their self-titled album, and also I See You, which this is a very, very shiny cover. Yellow card, when you're through thinking, say yes on a purple and white swirl. Another tri-colored vinyl here, Young the Giant, Home of the Strange. This looks like an ice cream flavor that I would want to bite into. Closing things out with the 10 and 12 inch records, we have have three from the British Lads, the 1975, the Sex EP on white vinyl. I also have a clear copy of their debut full-length album, it's self-titled, and also my album of the year for 2016, I Like It When You Sleep For You're So Beautiful Yet So Unaware Of It, on white vinyl. Really quickly, I'm going to show you my 7-inch records. I don't have a ton of these just because it's not my preferred listening experience format for vinyl. I like typically more of EPs or full-length albums, but I do have some 7-inches. You might see them in my background from time to time. I do have, starting this off, not in alphabetical order here, this is Brand News, I Am a Nightmare on clear vinyl. I also have a copy from Record Store Day a few years back. We've got Chiodos, a nice green translucent here, R2 Me Too, Let Me Get You a Towel. I have also from Big Data, Dangerous, this is supposed to look like a floppy disk. I have a picture disc edition of the single for Record Store Day once again by Muse. This is Reapers. It also has a live version on there. I have Bleachers. I want to get better. I don't believe this one is colored, but it actually is. This surprised me even. We're doing an unboxing here on camera. You can see that this is on blue vinyl. A few years back, I did pick up some Green Day 7 inches, so I do have a few of those. We've got obviously Green Day here. This is back when they were pretty much known as Sweet Children, and considering Sweet Children is on here, that's a dead set giveaway. I also have the waiting little single here. I believe this is just on purple vinyl. It's pretty dark, although you can kind of see it on camera there. I do have the limited edition picture disc of Boulevard of Broken Dreams, my favorite song of all time, and it looks absolutely fantastic. You can see here you've got the angel artwork there, and then you've got the band on the other side. I'm so stoked that I picked that up. I also have a pink little seven inch single for Green Day's Minority here. This is a nice little copy. It's something that I've occasionally played, although I'll admit that I don't play it all that much just because it is a seven inch. And I also have Basement. This was from Record Store Day 2019. This has Be Here Now and also the unreleased song of B-side, Are You The One? This is a nice little blue and white swirl pressing here. It's about half and a half. I have a sleeveless copy. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the outside part here. This is Tune Yards, Water Fountain. I believe that was a Record Store Day release. And then closing it out, I have Wolf Alice. This is White Leather and Leaving You, and this is just on black vinyl. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I know this was a longer video, but I do hope that you enjoyed it. A lot of the vinyl aficionados out there might get a kick out of it. And if you're looking to start your own collection, then maybe it's just gonna make you jealous. If you did enjoy the video today, it was a lot of work to actually get all of these records together, to get all of the shots of the colored ones, so please drop a like on the video. This was my entire vinyl collection. Consider subscribing for the love of music if you did enjoy the video today. And if you would like to, go follow me on Instagram because I do sometimes post pictures of my vinyl and other things over there, and currently I'm trying to hit 8,000 followers. The vinyl updates are probably gonna stay right here on the main channel in the future, and I'll probably only be doing them twice a year just because I'm not purchasing as much vinyl as I did in the past. If you want to see more vinyl videos, tap right here or tap here for another recent video I made on the channel. All of my social media can be found in the description, and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.